Final Fantasy is one of gaming's most beloved, cherished, and storied franchises. A long and gilded history of industry-defining moments and experiences that have pushed the genre and the entire industry forward in ways that are hard to believe in the modern day. It's a series that has undergone massive and systemic changes, both in terms of tone, atmosphere, and even gameplay. And each Final Fantasy game is its own separate experience, a little story, an adventure, a fantasy for you to embark on and experience. A captivating beginning, middle, and end. But in my opinion, one of the best experiences is also one of the ones that isn't talked about as much as the likes of, say, Final Fantasy VI or VII or X. In my opinion, one of the best Final Fantasy games and even one of the best games I've ever had the pleasure of playing is Final Fantasy IX. IX was a landmark title. It represented the capstone for Final Fantasy up to that point, the culmination of all those ideas and thoughts and adventures that we had embarked on before, tied up in a nice little bow with this game. It was the Final Fantasy series' farewell to the PlayStation 1 before it would transition to the PS2 with Final Fantasy X. And Final Fantasy IX took so many lessons from the past and from what Final Fantasy had been and done before, took them to heart, and made an experience wholly separate from everything that had come before, but feeling eerily reminiscent to all those memories that accumulated in the gaming collective unconscious up to that point. Final Fantasy IX is a treasure. A game that I thoroughly enjoyed from start to finish, filled with gameplay diversity, immaculate, beautiful, dark, emotional storytelling, contrasted with some of the most magnificent set pieces and visuals I've ever had the pleasure of looking at. And you pair all that up with one of the best soundtracks I've ever heard in gaming, let alone Final Fantasy, and Final Fantasy IX is a game that in all right by itself stands alongside the goats of not only Final Fantasy with seven, but also some of the best game experiences out there. There's a lot that goes into why Final Fantasy IX, in my opinion, is so well constructed, and why it has stood the test of time. But I think that is in no small part due to the hardcore, dedicated fanbase Final Fantasy IX has accumulated throughout the years up to this point, culminating with the Mulgrady Mods mod pack that oozes modernization, but also love and aspiration to try and capture those moments from Final Fantasy IX and all those nostalgic memories people formulated so long ago and recapture them for a more modern audience. I will be the first to admit that the PC port, at least on Steam, for Final Fantasy IX is abysmal. It's terrible in my opinion. Something that makes me wonder how it got greenlit. However, despite all of that, Despite the fact that when my controller disconnected, I had to restart the entire game. Despite the fact that there's no in-game sound option or slider, I would still recommend playing Final Fantasy IX on PC for the simple fact that Mulgari Mod exists. Any issue I would have had with this game in terms of its gameplay and mechanics is rectified, but also bolstered and made even better and turned into a strength because of Mulgari Mod. Final Fantasy IX is very much reliant on stealing items from enemy combatants. In the original game, stealing an item was a low percent chance. You were not guaranteed. With Mulgari Mod, it becomes guaranteed, and for me, that made the experience more fun, enriching, and fulfilling, and enjoyable. You can increase animation speed, combat speed, augment the experience, so what was once a slow, trotting game that was massively polarizing because of its pacing in the gameplay for so many people for so many years, all of a sudden becomes rapid, fast-paced, and enjoyable, falling more so in line with the other ATB systems that Final Fantasy has so popularized and made so beloved. Maybe at the time, I would have a, a systemic list of issues with Final Fantasy IX, but because it's the year 2023 going into 2024, and because we have this wealth of community support and admiration for Final Fantasy IX that has turned itself made manifest in the Mogri mod, as well as other mods that have augmented this experience to tailor-make it to the consumer's desires and wishes. Final Fantasy IX, in my opinion, is stronger than ever, made even better, more imaginative and more enriching and enjoyable, not only because of how well-made the game was at a baseline level, but because of how much love and admiration this game has accumulated throughout the years. That may sound like baseless bloviating, and that it's not an actual quality of the game itself, but... I would argue 
that some of the best gameplay experiences out there are not only when the developers have inspiration and passion for a game, but also when the community has that as well in spades. And while Final Fantasy IX may not have a fan base as large as, say, Final Fantasy VII, or even Final Fantasy VI, Final Fantasy IX stands the test of time and melds itself into the modern psyche and formula of Final Fantasy games so incredibly well not only because of the passion of those who came before, but of those who have joined the experience and experienced it since. With Mogri Mod, Final Fantasy IX is fast-paced, fun, enjoyable. Each of the characters, baseline, feel, and ooze their personality and gameplay, well, through the gameplay. No two characters feel 100% similar. And if there are similarities, there's a reason for that, and there's still differentiating aspects between them. Each character is varied, enjoyable, has multiple builds that you can invoke, then you can walk down and experiment for yourself to see what you can get out of the game. You pair that alongside a whole host and breadth of different dungeons that populate the game's world, as well as monster design, and the game gives you ample opportunity to make use of your ever-evolving skill set, but also knowledge base of the game. Final Fantasy IX rewards you for going off the beaten path, augmenting certain scenes and giving you additional scenes by simply thinking or stopping to smell the roses or taking the time out of the experience to think about what you should do, not necessarily what you can do. And even in the reverse, that's also true. Sometimes the answer is thinking about what you can do instead of what you should do. The game is highly replayable because of that, and because of how distinct, different, and fun and enjoyable each of the characters are to customize and build around. Going for different party compositions can create new gameplay experiences that feel fun, fresh, and rewarding. With characters invoking different synergies between one another to constantly give you something new to play and new to think about. The customization and progression in Final Fantasy IX to coincide with this idea and, this and these gameplay mechanics is strong, consequential, but also easy to understand. It's not arbitrary or hard to understand like the junction system from Final Fantasy VIII. It combines a lot of what made the Materia systems of old so fun and compelling, but allows you to develop and gather a repertoire of abilities that you can customize into your own loadout per character to, to fit the combat situation before you. The game has a low skill floor, but a high skill ceiling. And the story of Final Fantasy IX is truly memorable, one that I will never forget. Emotional, provocative, and surprisingly and shockingly dark and human. The game does an expert job of balancing the scales between the fun, wacky, fantastical, mystical atmosphere that the game evokes with its aesthetics and visuals alongside the extremely human, real, nihilistic, and heartwarming narrative and message and theme that the game is conveying alongside juxtaposing with that whimsical, magical, fantastical aesthetic that the game draws before you. Some may say that's an aesthetic clash, I would argue that they both make each other better because of their inclusion. It's a high fantasy world, a world that breathes originality, creativity, and wanderlust, and just magic from every pore and every fiber of its being. Final Fantasy IX paints a visual and an image and an overall experience and journey in fantasy that in my opinion is unrivaled in the series. From top to bottom, the game is filled with dynamic, amazing visuals and ever-evolving world, and landscapes and cinematography that stands the test of time to deliver a truly cinematic but also enriching gameplay experience through both the cutscenes and the gameplay. As you walk and navigate around this game, you are stunned and bewildered, or at least I was, by the sheer fact that this game was on the PS1. And while some of the visuals are updated and even redrawn with more Grimod, the game itself is still visually striking. And in my opinion, the aesthetic style and camera style that 7 and 8 set out to do and to do well, 9 perfects. The cutscenes are incredible. Action-packed, emotional, provocative, and are really well-paced. Nothing outstays its welcome, but you get it just long enough for every scene to breathe, to enrapture, to engross you, and to pull you into the world and the story and the characters. Most games would have one singular titular moment that is remembered for eternity. A big climactic moment where everything changes. Final Fantasy IX arguably has five, if not six, or seven, possibly eight, of these moments, where you just sit back in your chair or couch or whatever you're in, with your jaw agape, wondering, wow, they actually did it. They went there. And not in a bad way, not in a way that side sucker punches you, 
Not in a way that feels forced or contrived or out of place. The story flows. Each scene, each event, while they may be major and epic, fits with the tone, theme, and story going on. It's a beautifully written game, wonderfully told, in a package that I know I fully will want to and will experience all over again in the future. I wanted to say that there's something about Final Fantasy IX that is simply unique, but I think I managed to put my finger on the pulse of this issue. It's how they balance everything. The pacing of this game is arguably one of the strongest aspects to it. From slow, provocative, character-building moments to high-octane, high-adrenaline, action-packed, blockbuster performances that make you think you're at the theater in the midst, middle of summer watching the latest blockbuster. Each scene works with one another. They build off of each other. And the story and journey you go on makes sense, flows, and is beautifully written, balanced perfectly between the wacky, whimsical, comedic relief moments as well as the heart-pounding, heart-wrenching, heart-tearing emotional moments that makes the world and the characters all the more realistic, but enjoyable to experience and to walk right alongside. In my opinion, it is truly impossible to capture the beauty and majesty of Final Fantasy IX in, a, in simply one review video, and I don't want to stray too much into the spoiler territory, because in my opinion, Final Fantasy IX is a game everyone should experience at one point or another. Whether or not you played it in the past, experienced it, watched it in passing, you owe it to yourself to experience one of gaming's most underrated and underrepresented and under-talked about masterpieces of all time. People who have played Final Fantasy IX and who have fallen in love with Final Fantasy IX, whether you fell in love with it back in the early 2000s or nowadays or somewhere in the middle, will understand perfectly what I am talking about. It is a game that is greater than the sum of its parts, a whole that is beautiful, bittersweet, and extremely human. This is a game that, depending upon when you experienced it in your life, could be a character-defining moment. One of those games or those experiences or those stories that captures a specific plot, thread, or theme better than anything else and introduces you to these philosophies and ways of thinking and to ask these questions. I had no nostalgia for Final Fantasy IX, but the game is so well made, well crafted, and preserved in the modern day that I felt like I had nostalgia for this game. And now that I've beaten it, I will have nostalgia for this game ever since, or ever more. I cannot recommend Final Fantasy IX more enough. It is a masterpiece. One of the best Final Fantasy games I've ever had the pleasure of playing, but also one of the best games I've ever played. And with that, I will call it there for the day and bid you all an adieu. Thank you all for tuning in. My pleasure for making the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and helps support future content, and I greatly appreciate it. Stay safe. Have a great day. Go play some video games if you can, and as always, leave a comment down below with what your with what your first Final Fantasy game was and what your favorite Final Fantasy game was. I would love to hear your thoughts and hear your opinions and what you thought of Final Fantasy IX. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts and hear your opinions. Stay safe. Have a great day. Go play some video games if you can, and as always, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Until we meet again.